All right, got a new devlog, done a bunch of progress. I've got a reasonable amount of progress. Got a new ship, and I've got I've got things to interact with inside the ship. I've got things just lying around, mostly as examples. But uh, there's no lights on in here. So let's show off the first thing by taking this power supply, have it float after us, and install it in the hard point. And then get some lights now. Um, we can see here, which is the old old style monitor, but we can also just see it in the dashboard. Uh, zero out of 20 power used. We have full power available to us anyway. Um, I feel like this will need some work, but uh, you'll see here, if I try to turn on the engine, it doesn't work. Oh, but the right one does work. Okay. Uh, I'll show up the light dimmer later. It's very exciting. Um, all right. First problem. We apparently, there we go, we've got a red over here. Oh, there's no engine, but there's an engine in here. So let's unlock this, and we can see there's an engine floating over here. Ooh, ooh. Uh, yes, let's just assume you're always in a spacesuit. Um, but yes, there's an engine right here. So let's go back over here and grab it, pull it in, and boop, install it in. Yeah, it's very uh, seamless <laughs> installation process. Uh, lock that in place. We got a nice green light there. And you can see 20 power used now. Both lights are on, and hey, we can move around. Uh, but there's no. Can't shoot anything. Uh, there's no weapons. I mean, that's probably already saw. There's, there's nothing sitting here. Um, so let, let's put something in. Grab this, install that in here. Let's grab a different one, put it in the other side. Can, oh, still get a red light. Hmm, why do we get a red light? I'm saying this as if I don't know. We can see it's because we don't have enough power, and when we try to deploy a weapon, it doesn't want to do it. But if we turn off one of the engines, oh, we have enough power. We've got a little bit of power left over. We're moving a bit slower now, but we can <laughs> shoot our very purple lasers um, out of one side. Um, well, we can probably do better than that. What if we had another power supply? This one only supplies 20 random units, and ooh, handily, there's one just floating out there in space. Let's, uh, let's uh, get this, bring this over. Hope nothing breaks. There we go, come on. This is a bigger power supply, of which I know it's bigger because I made it. But <laughs> in theory, I might need a way to scan it. All right, come on. Come on, buddy. You're At least they're durable. All right, drop you, gotta take you out. All right. So you've got these, well, actually, the ship obviously still has some power. I probably need to do something about that. But anyway, uh, if we install it, ooh, it's big and blue. Um, that's all green. What are these? That's green. And if we deploy this one now, that's green too. There we go. Max power. There we go. Can't quite see in the light. There we go. Pew pew. Now we've got more pew pew. And we can move. Hey. Pretty neat. Um, and this is a light dimmer. As you can see, the lights get dim when I slide that down. Uh, I feel like I need, I honestly just made a slider and I really wanted to do something with it. I don't have a real use case for it just yet, so it's there. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's really the most of it. Obviously, it did take a bit of time to kind of get everything going. Um, uh, these are all physical buttons, obviously, uh, but you can just like lean over the shoulder and like turn things off. And you can see even the shadow of this uh, of the, the hard point moves. I feel like I need to have an example where you can see from the outside of it, of the cover coming off and going on again. If I, uh, if I leave one open, uh, that one's already closed. Um, let's go outside, we can have a look. See, it's all closed up. Ooh, we ended up under that ship. All right, you can see from over here. <laughs> let's see from over here. It's kind of the, <laughs> I feel like the, the actual final position maybe needs to come out a little bit. It's, uh, it's, you're just gonna be hitting yourself. But anyway, work in progress. Um, so yeah, a little ship I've made, some engines that don't look like they're on because I don't have a visual indicator for that yet. Um, this is still my cube rock uh, because it was a previously a cube and then I decided to fancy it up. 
Um, this is in theory supposed to be some additional turrets that will go on top. They'll also be deployed and I'll have something come in and out but I was like you know what I've kind of already got one example of things being animated and all that. See there's a cover for it on the other, on the other side. Um, one thing I haven't done. Oh, I should test. Yeah, you can <laughs> you can interact with things from the outside, which you know generally makes sense. Yeah, you can turn down the lights from the outside. Ha <laughs> ha! And I can uh, turn off your weapons and the engines from the outside. Well, they're already off. But yeah, um, so obviously a bit of work still needs to be done. You need to have that. You should be able to actually reach the buttons before you can press them. But you know. Again, this is all very prototypey. I just kind of want to get the feel. Does this feel good to, uh, you know, play around with this sort of stuff? Um, it's still not foolproof. It's all kind of relying on a lot of physics-y stuff, which means things can get weird and things can still break. So I'm hoping this whole system isn't completely, uh, uh, what's the word? Too fragile, yeah, too flaky, but um, yeah. And then the only, it's slow. Turn the other engine. Um, the only other thing I did was I updated the uh, this little shuttle here to also support some of these things. Oh, one thing I did do is right now this ship's just floating in space, right? Ooh, camera. I mean, cursor, come back. See, it's just floating up here. But if we come back over here and turn off the engines, oop, now it falls down. Um, which is kind of intended, you know. If the engines aren't on, it shouldn't just be floating in. When when it's gravity, it shouldn't be on. So, uh, yeah, this there's already a power supply in here because I've just embedded one into the walls. Uh, but the lights still go on and off. Um, the engines. There it is. This is a big fly button. Uh, yep. Oop, oop. There we go. So yeah, so it tested out that like yes, you can indeed. Uh, but uh, the camera position is not great. Oh hey me. Um, yeah, but there we go. And turn off the engines. Whee! All right, let's get out of this. Uh, yeah, so it's coming along. Oh, yep. I need some landing gear. That's what I need. I need landing gear and a ramp and more things, I guess. But uh, in terms of prototyping, I'm pretty happy with this so far. Uh, yeah. Anyway, um, let's get out of here. I can fly out of here. There we go. All right. So yeah, I got rid of the space station. Um, that was very much a work in progress. Might think I need to change it with a nicer model. Anyway. Uh yeah. It's a bit dim. I need more lights. That's uh, it's com how it's coming along. Uh, I guess one thing I didn't show is that indeed you can pop this off and uh, pop another one in there. Uh, these things can get shoved into space. <laughs> Neither. Whoop. Yeah, a bit too fizzy. Whoop. Oh, it's, not... it's very purple. Anyway, uh, yeah. Uh, next things is uh, having more adventuriness, having more reason to actually, you know, go out and find new, uh, yeah, find new things. I want this to be a bedroom because, you know, why not? Um, yeah, got to give more reasons to go out there and fly. Uh, but so far, I'm enjoying it. Alrighty, see you in the next one.